Hi, I'm Kevin Chisholm, and in this video I'll be talking for a little bit about implied globals in JavaScript. I think the most important thing to keep in mind is that in JavaScript, privacy is created inside of a function. So if I have this function called test, inside of it I've created a variable named color. I've used the var keyword, said var color equals red. So simply because I used the var keyword, that variable color is private to this function. It is completely inaccessible to the outside world. So if I were to then execute this function and then try to get a hold of the color variable, I should get undefined in a JavaScript console, and I do. And the reason for that is that when I execute test, okay fine it creates this variable color but it's pretty much useless to us because we can't get to it now if I were to remove that var keyword I believe we should get red in the JavaScript console now we do the reason for that is because when you omit the var keyword when you have this at first and then get rid of it this becomes what's called an implied global it means that it immediately becomes a property of the window object so this is exactly the same as doing this. It has the exact same effect. Here we're creating a variable called color and we're doing it globally and of course it's available to us right here. If we do this inside of the function and get rid of the var keyword it has the exact same effect. Leaving off the var keyword makes color a global and we can take we can prove that by saying well if it's global that means it becomes a property of the window object so if I do console log window dot color I should get red and I do now if I say delete window dot color now you can't delete variables but you can delete properties of objects so if I say delete window dot color and it worked and then if we do another console log and we do window dot color we get undefined because we just deleted the color property of the window object so I think the main thing to keep in mind is that when you use the var keyword you create a private variable inside of a function. When you omit the var keyword, that variable becomes a global. And when it becomes global, then it becomes a, pr a property of the window object. And that's how you create an implied global. Generally, you don't want implied globals. I would say that they are, almost without exception, an unintended consequence of forgetting to use the var keyword inside of a function. I would be scratching my head a little bit to think of a scenario where you'd want an implied global. It's generally something that happens by mistake, you catch it, and hopefully you fix it.